Jack, come on in. I've some work for you. Jack, I have an idea. Why don't you go with your friends and sell the cow? We have no money to feed her the fodder, and she won't be of any use unless fed. Go to the market and sell her. Okay, mother. I shall go with June, Joe, and Sugar to sell the cow. Hey guys, would you like to come with me to the market? I need to sell my cow. Why would you want to sell your cow? We have no money to buy the fodder, and without fodder, she won't give any milk. So mom thinks it's best to sell her at a good price. I think I know someone who would be willing to buy your cow, Jack. That's awesome, Sugar. Let's go. Where are you all off to, children? Who are you? And why should we tell you? Yes, Mom says not to talk to strangers. Are you even from this village? <laughs> you kids are funny. Oh. But I was looking at this cow. Is it yours? Yes, it is mine. Do you want it? Hmm. What are you asking in return for it? What can you afford? I shall give you these five magical beans in exchange for your cow. Five beans for a cow? Are you serious? How much are those beans for? <laughs> they are not just the usual beans. These are magical beans. Once you plant them, they grow and reach the sky overnight. You mean to say this bean will grow into a stalk and reach the sky? Yes, and if it doesn't, you can take your cow back. Maybe, Jack, you should take the bean. Mom! Mom! See what I got? What is it? I sold the cow to a man for these magical beans. Are you insane? You sold a cow for five silly beans? We already don't have enough money. And now you sold our only cow for these beans? But Mom, they are magical beans. <sighs> Go to your room, Jack. I shall think of another way. Mom! 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 Did you see what has come outside our house? It's the beans! I told you they were magical! But they won't get us any money or food. Jack! Jack! Hey, Jack. This wasn't here before, right? Don't tell me it was the beans! Hey guys, yes, it was the beans. Mom threw it out of the window in anger last night. And when I woke up this morning, 
There was this beanstalk. This is super cool. Those beans were magical for real. I wonder how it would feel to go right up. Why don't you climb it? We are anyway off to school right now. See you in the evening. Seems like an awesome idea. Bye, you guys. See you later. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. from the magical beans. There was a castle up in the sky, and the ugly giant had these. Oh my god, you are totally crazy. You climbed up the beanstalk and ran away from a giant? I must keep an eye on you. Chill, Mom, I am fine. I am just happy that I could make you smile. what happened today. I climbed up the beanstalk, went to a castle in the sky, ran away from a giant, and got a sack of gold from Mother. But calm down. We don't understand what you're saying. I'm saying that when I climbed the beanstalk and reached the top, there was a castle up there. I sneaked inside and saw a giant. 
I got so scared. When the giant went back to sleep, I took his sack of gold and ran back down. Now Mom and I are super happy. <gasps> that sounds adventurous. Can we come with you the next time? Yes, I want to be between the clouds. You can go inside the castle while we wait outside. Sure, we shall go tomorrow, as you all have a holiday. I won't be able to join you guys. My whole family is invited to a wedding in the capital for the weekend. It's my father's auntie's daughter's first cousin. We are close, so I must go. It's all right, June. We will let you know everything once you return. awake or sleeping. As soon as I sense danger, you'll hear a noise of something falling down. You'll start climbing down. Done, Done partner. partner. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my blood. Bring me my hand. Lay the golden egg. <laughs> Huh. 
the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. There you are! You took my sack of gold in my hand, and now you want my harp? Come here! I shall gobble you up! really scared for you. I should have told you not to be so greedy and stopped you from going up there. I'm all right, Mom. And yes, I did get a little greedy. But I promise not to go up there ever again. Yes, well, <laughs> we have enough money now. Let's go and buy some cows and start milking again. That's a great idea, Mom. Everywhere. I love countryside. Sugar, I also want to have my chocolate bar. Uh uh. I am carrying the food basket, so all the food in it is mine. Sugar, I am carrying you. Does it mean all the food is mine? And also you? Heh heh. Heh heh. Excuse me, sir. Why are you crying? <laughs> I am so ashamed of myself. <laughs> Kids, always remember never to be greedy. Because if you're greedy, you will always end up losing something far more valuable. <laughs> but how? I, I don't understand. I will tell you what I did. Maybe it will help you understand. I once was a hard-working farmer. I didn't have much. But I was happy in my farm. I grew fruits and vegetables, and I'd sell them in the market. Over time, I had enough money saved, so I decided to buy a goose. Look, Sheila, I bought a goose with money we have saved. Ha! A silly goose. You should have bought me a necklace instead. 
It's been a long time since you have given me a present. Sheila, the goose is the present. The goose will lay eggs every day. We will sell them and buy the things we need the most. Why don't you get some food for the birds to eat? I will go to the barn and set up a nest for her. The next morning, I woke up and went to the barn to check if the goose had laid any eggs. I picked the goose up and searched and found a golden egg. Wow! Like an egg made of real gold? I can't believe it! I couldn't believe my eyes either. Sheila! Sheila! Come here quickly! Look! Uh, this goose is so worthless. Just one egg. But it's a golden egg! What? Let me see. Her eyes started to glow. We both knew we don't have to worry about anything now. Every day, the goose laid one golden egg. And every day, I sold that egg at the market. Soon, Everything started to change. The farm, the barn, the house, everything. I stopped working on the farm. And we spent our days buying things we never needed. We were rich, but somewhere down the line, we became greedy and lazy. Yesterday, while going to bed, Sheila whispered to me. Dear husband, the goose gives one egg every day. And for that, I have to feed and take care of it every day. Why don't we kill the goose and take all the eggs at once? We will be rich in no time. And you don't have to go to the market over and over again. Blinded by greed, I said yes. Later that night, we sneaked into the barn and killed the goose. But to our surprise, we didn't find any golden eggs. <sighs> she was just a normal goose. What have I done? What will I do now? Poor goose. I guess you have to get back on your feet and start farming again. <sighs> yes, yes, you are right. Remember, kids, never be greedy, or you will end up losing even more. Joe, here, it's for you. Thank you, sugar. What changed your mind, sugar? After listening to the farmer, I realized 
just for a few chocolates. I don't want to upset my friends. And you guys always share everything with me. So why can't I? Like it will rain. Hey, watch it, kid. my daughter. Please, someone help her! I thought that castle was abandoned, and no one lives there. No, a beast lives there. He is very scary and mean. Tell me everything, Uncle. I want to know about this beast. Who took my bell? This all started last week. I was preparing Philippe to go to the market. Bill, I am going for work. Would you like me to get something for you? Just a rose, Daddy. Mm. So, I set off to the market on Philippe. As I was halfway through, it became dark, and there were thunderstorms and lightning. It started to rain heavily. I was still far away from the market, so I started looking for a shelter. And I saw this old castle. The castle gate was open, so I entered the castle. Nobody is here. But who is all this delicious food for? I sat down to eat. But then I heard footsteps and saw a shadow upstairs watching me. I got scared, so I ran out of the castle. <laughs> On my way out, I saw a garden filled with beautiful roses. I remembered Belle had asked for one, so I plucked one. <laughs> and you are stealing my roses. I shall put you in prison. Uh, uh, uh. This was for my daughter, Belle. 
This is all she asked. will put you in prison too. I couldn't leave you alone, Daddy. <gasps> Please, leave my father. You can have me instead. No, Bill. Go away. to that old castle, slay that beast, and bring Belle home. Uh -huh. uh, uh, but I have a condition. Once I rescue Belle, you have to give me your daughter's hand in marriage. We will get married immediately afterwards. But, but, but... I will leave at once. just happened? I think we should also help. There is no time. Let's follow Gaston. <laughs> Will you join me for dinner? Dear Belle, 
Please take this magic mirror. As a sign of our friendship. Thank you, friend. What does this magic mirror do? It will show you anything you ask for. guys. I want to know what's going on. Dear friend, my daddy is really unwell. <coughs> Can I please go and see him? I, I promise I will come back. Oh, dear Belle, you must. I shall wait till you come back. so scared that the beast will harm you. Oh, thanks to Gaston, that mean beast is finally dead, and you are home. But, but, where is Gaston? Gaston? No, Daddy. I saw in the magic mirror that you were sick, so the beast let me go. But, but, if Gaston didn't save you, that means he is out to kill the beast. What? Oh, Daddy! The beast didn't try to hurt me at all. He is very gentle and kind. I really like him. Uh-huh. I must go save him from that evil Gaston. You please take care, Daddy. have a nice heart. I wonder what happened to him. Let's look around. Maybe we will find something. Yes, on the way here, I saw a big library. We might find something interesting there. Wow! 
Look at the size of this library. I wonder if the beast has read them all. Wow, this just keeps getting interesting. Guys, come here. Look what I found. This is the beast's diary. Huh? Oh yeah, he has written all his experiences here. Look here, he once was a prince. to the beast. I hope he finds his true love and marries her so that he can become the prince once again. Huh? Guys, did you hear that? Yes, I think it's Gaston. Oh no, we have to tell him the truth or else he will kill the beast. Hurry up, guys. You ugly beast. Where is my Belle? What have you done to her? She's not in the castle. Her father was unwell. She went to the village to take care of him. You liar. Tell me where she is or I will kill you. Uh. <clears throat> oh, God! Gaston is furious. If he does not find Belle, he is going to kill the beast. But what can we do? Even if we tell him the truth, he won't believe us. He's so arrogant. Only Belle can convince him. Guys, guys, look. I think it's Belle. No! Stop! Don't kill him, Gaston! Oh my god! How would she enter the castle? The gates are locked from inside. Let's go help her. hidden her somewhere in this castle of yours. Stop, Gaston! <laughs> Don't kill him! He didn't try to hurt me! Move away, Belle. Let me kill him once and for all. <sighs> oh. as beast as well. But no one tried to see who he really was. Inside, I still can't believe he read all those books. I wish you could help me with homework. <laughs> <laughs> 